watching Tone Ohm. Okay, folks, how you doing? So, today we're going to do just a brief little recap synopsis on the Noct, the Team Noct. So, this is what it came in. This um, bubble wrap type deal. Got some, some stickers, got a USB cable. And then we have this here. These are nice. Hellfire. Other stuff comes in this. Team Noct, handmade. Um, inside we have the original um, panels. So this is the clear acrylic version. Um, it's all clear acrylic. <laughs> um, got a little Team Knox sticker on the bottom, base plate or base protector or whatever. That I believe they came like that. Um, I don't know if this was uh, technically used, so... Um, DNA 60, LiPo mod. Says Team Knocked, turns right on. So the screen's right here in the middle. It's kind of different. You don't see that too often. You can peel these up, flip them out, change them out for the clear. This can come out too. Um, however, mine didn't come with... My panel set didn't come with that, and I believe this is a knocked made panel set because they do have their own resin mods, full resin versions of this with these multicolored, swirly <laughs> resin type pat uh, patterns. And I know this was one of the colors this year, so um, let's see. Um, and there we got the 415 and a plain Boro. So, I don't know, it's like very similar to a Delro. The other lipo that I feel that's modeled after. Um, I'm gonna say the Delro maybe just a hair sh uh, shorter. Um, but it, the Delro is also just a little bit wider too, side to side. And in terms of thickness, Looks like the knot may technically be a, a hair thicker as well. Um, you'll see the top connection here is much longer too, this long brass piece. Um, lipos in the bottom, just like the Delro. I have magnetic quick charge ports right here for it. They're both USB type C. Um, here's your wattage buttons. Fire button is on the side, kind of like how they they have their own version of the billet box too, which looks just like the billet box, except it also has this feature, this side fire here, instead of it being on the front. So that's kind of mirrors the billet box and what they did with that, having this side fire button. And because it's high up on the mod, I do like it. It is a nice, comfortable, comfortable button, um, to say the least. So. Um, these are made in Korea uh, by a guy named Park. Um, you can go on their Facebook, Team Noct, to look these up. Now, you see the vertical airflow slits here, and the stock panel has that too. And there's also three um, airflow slits on the side. Very reminiscent of how the Billabox Box does the airflow on their mods. So, um, materials, like I said, there's a resin one, this one's acrylic. They have Delrin versions, like the Delro, in white, black, um, yellow, red, on all sorts of colors, purple. Um, so they have an Ultim version you can get. Um, they have a Peak version. They have a frosted acrylic. This is the clear transparent acrylic um, and I think I hit about every material type there's a lot of material types um, plenty of different colored resin ones so I think when they came out they were like 500 for the Delrin and the acrylic don't quote me on that um, 
they maybe have been more, it may have actually been six. And I believe the um, full resin ones were like eight. So pretty expensive for when they came out. Um, however, the resale market has not been very kind to these. Um, generally see them for like 300 these days. Um, for a good while when they were first released, they held value at 400, 500, something like that. Um, so you'll notice mine has a gray battery cover, like a mesh look to it. Um, that signifies that this is one of the older models. This is one of the older generation batches or whatever you want to call it. And newer ones generally, <clears throat> excuse me, like the Cubro, the clear Delro, has the white, the plain white battery wrap around it. That with the Delro D, um, the, Noc, the newer Nox have a plain white battery cover underneath the clear. So, and it's pretty neat. I mean, you could see the pin right through the bottom. Um, you could see all the electronics and the board here. It's pretty nice that way. Firing good, reading a point eight. This is good for low wattage reaping, like those in general. Now, I may have touched on this in another video, um, my early video that I did about this, but. <clears throat> One of the most interesting things I feel about the Noct is its quick charge. So, both of these have the same kind of battery. LiPo, it's an 1800 mAh uh, LiPo. And most of you may know, um, if you know anything about LiPos, that, that is not a lot. Or just in comparison with an 18650, I mean, most of them are 3000 mAh. This is only 1800, so it doesn't last that long. Now, lipos do last a little longer than a regular um, cell, but um, the thing about these lipos in particular is that they charge much faster than a standard battery would. So, I would say the knock takes, I don't know, half as long. I mean, I can charge this from 50% to 100% in like 10 15 minutes tops, whereas the Delro generally takes like 20 minutes to a half hour, I would think, um, to charge up. So it is a much faster charge. Now there's a give and take to that because the faster you drain your battery and the faster you charge your battery, the, the faster the rate you charge your battery, the more damage that does to the overall lifespan of that cell. Um, now, I've had this for quite some time, over a year, and I haven't had too much, I haven't noticed too much of a difference in overall battery life, so I can't really say too much on that, um, that it's had any kind of negative consequence to that, but just something to keep in mind. I also heard that earlier versions of this, um, because of that battery, um, there was swelling with the battery and then actually for like the Delrin ones actually like protruded the body out to be wider um, which is not good you know that means battery's gonna fry it's frying basically <laughs> but um yeah something I just really liked about the quick charge you know it was just so fast so here we have it compared to some other mods here it is next to Harbor here it is next to um Skunk Mods, uh, D01, so this is a dot-based, um, dot-based system. And here we have a 38. Ion, you get the picture. So it's short, in line with other short mods. Um, and it's extremely lightweight, though. It's probably, like the lightest mod that I have. However, um, with it being so lightweight, um, it, it's something that it worries me because it's a, it's a little fragile. Whereas if I had a Delring one or a Peak one, even the resin, I mean, just from the panel alone, it just feels a lot thicker, a lot stronger than the plain acrylic one. Um, 
so, you know, I know that I've seen these um, for sale, you know, after they've been dropped and they always are chipped. I'm surprised they don't shatter because they do feel extremely fragile. And because of that and the fact that I have plenty of other mods, it, it just hasn't seen that much use and overall it never really did. Um, I've always had the Delro prior and in my opinion you only need, you only need one light though. I mean, especially because these are both so similar. I mean, other than the aesthetics of the door opening from the side and this one opening from the top, they're, they're extremely similar, you know, and I don't want to say knocked kind of ripped off the Delaro, but they kind of did the billet box, so Noct has been very quiet recently. I, I don't know if they've come out with anything in a year for all I know. Um, but yeah, Team Noct from Korea, uh, South Korea, I guess. Um, I'm almost positive it's Korea. It could be Vietnam for all I know, but I'm pretty sure it's Korea. Not like Malaysia or something different. Um, <laughs> Indochina type area. Um, so anyhow, uh, that's about everything. Um, I just thought I'd give this one more look, uh, because it's not going to be with me much longer, so, um, it's been a good mod, and I definitely recommend them if you can get one for a good price. I mean, these days you might even come up with one of these for like 200 bucks, so it's very nice, just that clear, all clear. You know, if you see right through your borrow and a borrow window and everything, if you have the clear panel on, see your juice level, all that good stuff, you know. It's kind of a trend in mods these days, so. Um, i never seen one in die codes, only DNA 60s. Um, but yeah, and I've never tried to go into eScribe, but I'm not, so I'm not sure if you can or not. I would imagine you could, but I can't say for sure. Um, because it has that quick charge, they may take the scribe out of the picture, I'm, I'm not positive, so. But yeah, that is the Team Knocked, and it's not serialized, I don't know which one I have, but, um, or what number it may be, or what batch number, for that matter. Um, if I have this, I don't think this, I mean, oh no, it does, no, here's the warranty card. It just says serial number not, so not too informative there. Like most batteries, like, uh, you know, the lithium ion type batteries and with your phone and everything, um, only charge it as long as it needs to be charged. Don't leave it plugged in overnight. Um, that could be bad for the battery and reduce the overall life of it and make your battery drain faster, so. As soon as it's done charging, unplug it. For safety reasons, too. That's that. Hope you learned something. If you didn't learn it from my original video, uh, at least you got to see it a little better this time. So, alright, take care, gang. Watching Tone Ohm.